Hi, I'm Dr. Jay McSharma. For the last 10 years, I've been lucky enough to practice medicine, which has been awesome in a lot of ways, but it's not my true calling. This is the journey of how I'm going from Jay McSharma, MD, to Jay McSharma, writer and actress. Welcome to Cat Robes and Coffee. Hey, party people. I think Wally wants to be in this vlog. That was Wally's butt, everybody. Wally, you wanna say hi? Hi! He's one of the cat of Cat Robes and Coffee. So, today, Wally and I would like to talk to you about faking it until you make it, AKA saying yes to the things that scare you. <laughs> A lot of times we don't feel that we're worthy, whether it's physically, mentally, spiritually, talent-wise, to go ahead and pursue the things that we know our heart desires the most. That's when you have to ignore the devil on your shoulder that tells you that you're not good enough or that you're not ready and say yes anyway. One of the very first times that I put this into practice was, <laughs> Wally is not gonna let me have this vlog. Chris J and Sarah Abair run an all y'all live storytelling podcast. And I think it was in 2016 that they asked me to tell a story because the theme was mamas and daddies. At every step of the way, I wanted to back out and say, no, I don't have anything worthy to offer. I don't have a story to tell. I'm not good at telling stories. I don't wanna be on stage. This is stupid, yada, yada. What ended up happening is that moving through the fear and saying yes anyway, I ended up having one of the most pivotal experiences and I would call a turning point of my adult career. But even though my heart rate was legitimately, I think it was like 200 beats per minute before I got on stage and I felt like I was going to pass out. Once I started talking and felt the support and enthusiasm of the audience after the very first line of my story, Everything calmed down and somehow, instead of 10 minutes, I talked for 22 minutes and it was an amazing experience. It was a ride in which I got to share a very personal story in an intimate setting with over 100 people, maybe it was 200, and it was, by all measurable objectives, a success. But most importantly, I found out, much to my um, non-chagrin, that I enjoy the thing that I've always said that I wanted to do, which is tell stories and relate to people and make them laugh. And that was really, really affirming for me because it's really easy to tell people what you wanna do for a living and what your dream is and oh, but you know, I'm a doctor now or I'm whatever now and so that's never gonna happen. But man, whew, if I had had my way, this is what I would have done with my life. But at the first opportunity for me to actually do what I always said I wanted to do, my first instinct was to turn away from it because what if I suck at it? Or what if everyone's like, this is what you wanted to do with your life and you're kind of terrible at it? So I did the all y'all thing and then within a year or so, I had established my online social media page, writing online magazines and doing interviews. And then the next thing you know, I'm being asked to host this independent film premiere at the Strand for Cut to the Chase. And I seriously doubt that Cut to the Chase movie team would even be aware of who I was or, or what I could do if I hadn't done all y'all and set that part of my life into motion. And then I was asked to interview filmmakers for the Louisiana Film Prize. Even though I wanted to say no to that opportunity as well, what ended up happening then was I became in close proximity with people who were following their dreams and it rubbed off on me. I was like, oh, so you just wanted to make a movie and then you did it? Like, you just did that? I see, I see, okay. Within the next year, I went from being a filmmaker interviewer to a filmmaker being interviewed. At each step of the way, I wanted to say no because what if everyone found out that I suck? It's the easiest thing in the world to give up on yourself. So, rule 11, are we really doing this with making up rules? Say yes to the things that scare you. You miss out on 100% of the chances you don't take, bubba. I mean, even now, Mindy Kaling put out this casting call for Indians and I'm like, I'm never gonna get that, right? Well, I'm never gonna get it if I don't try, so I'm gonna try. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed. Wally certainly did. He is passed out. <laughs> 
So from me and Walter, until next time, this was Cat Robes and Coffee, and thanks for watching. Bye. I guess this can be our stinger scene, huh, Wally? Endgame is almost here!